Yo, what's going on, people? It's your boy, Eat Poncho, back at you again with another video. And so, we've got some breaking news in regards to the murder of Clinton Nabota, also known as Lil CJ. Now, I covered this story initially about a year or so ago, so feel free to go and give that initial video a watch because there isn't too many in-depth details from the newest report that has come out. I will leave the initial coverage linked down in the description. As I'm recording this video right now, the mainstream media hasn't reported on the story yet, so again, I don't have too many details about the case but recently what we do know is people have been found guilty of his murder and were sentenced today but what has come out in the report is that in court it was heard that the police were called at around 8 21 p.m on thursday the 10th of october 2019 to reports of a stabbing on grimsel path which is located on the brandon estate the brandon estate for you guys who don't know is home to uk drill rap group moscow 17. when officers arrived at the scene they found Clinton suffering from stab injuries and he would unfortunately go on to be pronounced dead at the scene. The court heard that a post-mortem examination gave the cause of death as multiple stab wounds. It was also heard that Clinton had lived on the Brandon estate itself but had moved away to Kent with his family but would make continuous returns to the estate and area to see his friends. On the night of the murder it's believed that Clinton once again returned to the estate to go and see friends but two Two men, both from Stockwell, that being 19-year-old Rio Williams and Carlos Roachford, alongside a 16-year-old and more of their associates, had seen him and gave chase. The court heard that witnesses described seeing Clinton being pursued by a group of knife-wielding males before he was fatally stabbed to death. It's believed initially he went on to be stabbed at least once, but continued to run and attempted to climb a tree in a desperate bid to escape. But unfortunately, he was pulled down and attacked by the group who then fled the scene. Witnesses reported the group as laughing and smiling as they ran off and it was then members of the public came to his aid and called emergency services as he lay dying and then as you guys know unfortunately he went on to pass away. As it stands right now that's all there is in regards to court details but after a trial which ended in December of 2020 both Rio and Carlos were found guilty of murder following a trial at Woolwich Crown Court. Today Rio was jailed to 19 years and Carlos was jailed for 18 years. A 16 year old boy who was with them was convicted of manslaughter and was jailed for six years. A 16 year old and a 17 year old alongside 18 year old Calvin Lapawa were all found not guilty of murder but guilty of possession of an offensive weapon and they were sentenced to rehabilitation and supervision orders. A 14 year old boy was arrested on suspicion of murder but he was released with no further action. So even after the long investigation which was launched by detectives from the Metropolitan Police's Special Crime Command, they still to this day haven't fully established why Clinton was targeted. Lead investigator Detective Chief Inspector McNorman said, Clinton Abota's last moments were something no person should have to suffer. He was outnumbered and chased by a group who attacked him without mercy. Their actions are wicked and cowardly in the extreme. No sentence can ever absolve the pain of losing a loved one who had so much of his life to live, but I hope they can take some comfort in knowing that we have done all that we possibly could to get justice for them. I'm proud of the efforts of my team who have put everything into this investigation. They have worked above and beyond to secure these convictions and significant sentences. Detective Constable Gibson is especially deserving of praise for his efforts and Detective Constable Gibson was also awarded a commendation by the judge in the case because he spent hours studying CCTV to identify those responsible in the case. So it's pretty sad to think that a motive wasn't established in this case and this could have potentially been a case of mistaken identity. But I would appreciate it if you guys could leave your respects down in the comments section below and I personally want to take this time out just to say rest in peace to Clinton and I do want to send my condolences out to his family and friends who have been affected by his death. But let me know what you guys think of this down in the comment section below. Give the video a little like. And if you want the latest drill, street and music news out of the UK, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. It's been your boy Ape Hancho, and I'm out.